detective Stacy and David Castor took the stand today in her murder trial. Castor is accused of poisoning David with antifreeze back in 2005 and then of trying to kill her own daughter to blame the murder on the daughter. Jeff Kulikowski joins us now in the newsroom. Jeff, what did this friend of the couples have to say? Michael Coleman, he described in some detail being called to the Castor's home the weekend that David Castor actually died and helping what seemed to him, in his testimony anyway, what seemed like a very intoxicated David trying to help get him back into bed. I asked Stacy if, if he took anything other than alcohol because it seemed to be more intense than alcohol, um, you know, as far as the bobbing of the head and... and you know, just being really out of it. Um, I asked if he took anything else, and she went into the medicine cabinet and checked, and she said no, nothing was missing. Do you know how either of the girls felt towards David? Did you ever see any of that? Um, when David wasn't around, yeah. Um, the girls, um, uh, the, the girls really didn't like David all that much from my gatherings. What was that decision? And that was under cross-examination, that last answer you heard there. Jurors did hear from a number of witnesses today, including several from the Onondaga County Sheriff's Office. Diane Lashinsky, who you see right there, described talking with Stacy Castor at a neighbor's house after David was found dead and also talked about the statement she took from a calmer Castor the next day at the Sheriff's Office. One of today's key witnesses, though, was lead detective Dominic Spinelli. He pointed out inconsistencies between that August 2005 statement and the answer stated Stacey Castor was giving him in September 2007. He also told the jury about hearing Castor use the, tell him about pouring anti-free, not anti-freeze. And why is that so significant? Because the person who wrote Ashley Wallace's apparent suicide letter used the word anti-free at least four times. The district attorney has maintained all along that that person that wrote the letter is Stacy Castor. Now, defense attorney Chuck Keller in cross-examination did point out to the jury that Spinelli has had his own difficulty recalling facts of the case and at one point at one hearing leading up to this trial had to refresh his memory 32 different times. Carrie. All right, Jeff, thank you. Stacey Castor's murder trial resumes tomorrow morning. You can track the latest updates on the trial here on 9WSYR.com. We'll have updates throughout the day of the trial, which is expected to last several weeks.